come down and do that and we're gonna start over so that's the course if you're in group a get your whoops ready i think my favorite part about tiny whoop race is always like the level of energy that's going on i mean like there's tiny whoops racing through the gates there's like a tiny whoop plane going on over there um and like everybody's here to have a good time like not only are we inside having a tiny whoop race but like we're outside people are you know, flying planes on the course every once in a while. We're hanging out down here. That wing's been up a few times. He's got a plane. You know, like, no matter what, like, everybody's just having a good time. And, like, there's nothing better than that. So it's been it's been really fun. I'm just sitting here plugging in some batteries to a charger, getting my radio out. Like, oh, I'm going to fly my squirt soon. And then all of a sudden I hear this thing power up. The and Mr. Nick Lang is out ripping a squirt through the tiny boat track. Geyser. Oh no! Careful! I'm just enjoying that I wasn't the one that got a cine whoop stuck in it. <laughs> you recorded? So all 40 of the pilots are going to go up at once and uh, line of sight their way around the course. It's a one lap race. There's a bunch of sort of pushing and shoving. Obviously you have to fly while walking around. There's a giant, you know, course here that you got to maneuver. So 
in just a minute. Everybody get your quads, get a battery, and in one second we're gonna launch what one of the best big line of sight races ever to help commemorate this event. Set up partners, I'm gonna meet you in the middle of the room in just a second. So in case that wasn't clear, basically we're just taking tiny whoops and we're line of sighting them around the entire course, but everybody can fly at the same time because video doesn't matter. Three, two, one. So we did the uh, the line of sight race where there's a good, what, 20 drones up there almost? Uh, did a long exposure of them taking off. So I got a good group shot of everybody as well as good shot of them taking off. Oh. Show that to Jesse. Yeah, oh yeah. Jesse, come here for a second. Oh, what? Nice, dude. Oh, let's do it again. All right. I'm gonna do it again, guys, and I'm gonna have them all over the cubes. This should be fun. This should be. So that was pretty absurd, and now we're gonna take to the skies over top of the cubes, the airspace right here, and they're gonna battle. They're basically gonna see who can knock each other out and stay in the air the longest. That's gonna give Winston a crazy chance to do some long exposure photography, and it's gonna be a really fun time to watch tiny whoops just bounce off of each other over top of these awesome cubes. So once again, the way Flight Fest combat works, and many of you know, it breaks everything. You've got a line of sight fly combat, so you're trying to take out everyone else. Three, two, one, go! Alright, they're going to start to move into a slow circular formation over here. Everybody wants to cell phones off of this section. Oh, 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 oh. No way. <laughs> I've got 20. <laughs>
top 16 being announced right now. Did you say I was an eighth? Yep. What? Third. Well, if I third after a good battle with Black Horse and Blue Jay, I had one good run at the end, but it wasn't quite enough, so. That's at least a pretty good starting spot. And they're doing top 16 double elimination. So that means that I get uh, probably two heats of like likely wins and then it's a lot of battling from there. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're heading into double, or no, single elimination racing. I'm gonna be honest, I'm super tired. We stayed up until like 3, 3 a.m. finishing up those uh, cubes and got up really early and I'm just dying. I got a headache, all this stuff but uh, we're gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna just fly calm, smooth, um, and just make it as far into bracket racing as I possibly can. That's a good friend of mine, apparently. Hi, friends. <laughs> <laughs> so bright. All right. Nurk left us with his camera. I don't know why. He's going to get foam board because this thing is bright. It's too bright. Too bright. Too bright. Too bright. <sighs> <laughs> Let's go live on the tone in less than five. <laughs> bad video! Need a marshal over there? We got Nurk out in front making his way around the, the hypercube for the first time, but right on his tail, who is that? We don't know. We're never gonna know. Wait, we're about to figure it out. I love that backwards exit. Shout out to Nurky Nurk for playing with the tunnels backwards there. Classic Nurk, he's all about that backwards flying. Here comes oh, a little error, but he's still going to kick it for lap number one. There goes Nurk, the DRL world champion. First place. Second place, none other than T-Dub. T-Dub, well done. Heck yes, in third. No sign of Ian yet. Oh, that was oh my god, video. 
Don't forget, we really need you to call out your laps on this one. I two. did. Two. Drew Racer finishing his second lap, moving on to his third. Nerky Hawk making its way into the third hyperdrive of this race. Cautiously through the foyer and into the Christmas tree. Nurk coming through the Christmas tree right now. He wants that first place. He's used to it. There it is. First again, going, going to finals. Top wall. All right, so since it's Chase the Ace and uh, this guy has top qualifier, I'm going to have to beat My Little Pony here, aka Dark Horse or Black Horse, Black Horse, to move on. Good luck. Wes is one race up. If he wins it, he wins it. Live on the tomb in less than five. Beep. There they go. Oh my gosh, it's a river in the sky. They're all super tight. Two errors puts Nurk. Ooh, but no, Stephen Merrill's in front. Nurk is right on him. Blue Jay right behind them. Ooh, and looks like Nurk exits the kaleidoscope a little faster. Now he's into the hyperdrive. Where is he? He's in the back now. Nurky Hawk killing that Christmas tree, finishing his first lap. Right behind him, we've got Blue Jay coming out in second place, to my surprise. Right behind him, Stephen Merrill moving on to his second lap, and Kelly behind him. Let's check back with Nurk. Nurky Hawk chilling out in the kaleidoscope. That's going to cost him. Now, what's happening? Blue Jay has made the pass. Blue Jay up into first place, headed through the foyer into the Christmas tree room. Blue Jay, your leader who's already got one race under his belt. Coming around now, Blue Jay onto his, I believe, third lap. Blue Jay starts. Yeah, followed right behind by Nurk. There is a serious battle here. What's happened? Nurk's down. Ooh, another error. Nurk seems to be unplugged over there. Good news for Blue Jay. Oh, he's back. Oh, two mistakes took me out of it. I uh, second, third, and fourth. hit. We can request the presence of Lion I don't even King. remember what I hit, but I hit something, and then I had to play catch up, and I was playing catch up, but I almost had him, and then I hit the wall, and my tiny hot got stuck to the wall. I had to disarm, and then it flipped over, and then I needed a marshal, and then my camera tilt got bumped way up, and it was just over. So um, I still think I got second, which means I have two seconds, which means I think I have second place locked in, but that's not exactly what I was hoping for, but it was fun. So current situation is between second and third. You guys are tied in points. Okay. As men, do you want to finish this off right now? One race? Yes. Or one v one. They both want the one v one. All right, one v one. All right, Let it be. Good luck. Oh, Wait, good come luck. here. It's for some extra money. So it's one v one for second place. I had a third and a second, and now I have to battle against Dark Horse for one more battle. This is getting exciting. I think I've taken him every time I had good video. So with the crowd, with the pressure, I think I think we got him. I've always been a fan of My Little Pony, but I didn't think they had a black horse. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do it.
so that was the end of the uh, Tiny Whoop Invitational race here at Flight Test Headquarters. I uh, ended up placing third after a great 1v1 battle against Dark Horse. Um, not exactly the way I wanted to end up, uh, it was just a great race. He's an amazing micro drone pilot and I am not practiced at all. It was an awesome race, I'm super stoked. Thanks for coming along on this adventure and stay flying.